Hello my commandos, uh, thank you all for your love, affection and support uh, to my channel and to me. Hope you will continue the same with me and uh, you are sharing and subscribing and liking my videos a lot. Thank you again a lot and also hope you will continue the same with me and you are welcome to my mission 90 plus. Today in this video, I will discuss about the important set questions in the mind of viewers. Uh, one thing is that I am so much inspired and motivated to make videos of, out of your love. And in this video, I have to discuss about the important set questions of determinants and matrix which is in unit 2. And this is for all uh, annual examinations and this is also very important for upcoming 2021 examination. If you simply follow these uh, questions what I am now going to discuss in this video will help you a lot for upcoming annual exam 2021. This is the uh, short question section and previously I have already shared the long questions of both determinant and matrices and in this uh, video I, I want to discuss about the short questions of matrices and uh, here are the some questions in the first question you are simply giving a uh, uh, the product of matrices and uh, here also the questions from matrices uh, which are simple questions you can uh, 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 solve this easily and these are the questions which are already come in the previous uh, exam annual examinations and also now here given two matrices and uh, with the product of solve this and uh, next the inverse is also a question find the inverse with elementary operation and then is the product a b and a c and where b is not equal to c and this is the question with a plus 2b like this and you have to find the two matrices uh, a and b simply apply, apply the uh, algebraic method uh, next is the question 11 also inverse and uh, now is the same question what uh, is uh, what i have already discussed previously uh, the word problem and in question number 14 is one of the important question yes to verify simply uh, these uh, three vectors are uh, three matrices are given and now come to the determinant section as usual at the uh, expansions and if you can solve these questions without uh, expansion that means applying properties then this will be very helpful to you all and always try to solve the this type of determinants without expansion simply apply the properties what i have already said in the uh, previous videos uh, in this chapter this will be very helpful because this will save you time and space as well and if you go through the direct uh, expansion as some students are doing in the examination this actually this is a uh, loss of time and space uh, by which you, uh, you are uh, some students are unable to attend the all the questions uh, and these are the questions that actually is in the book and are the simple questions simply follow the properties and this will be easy for you and from my experience since last 20 years i am sharing here answer the questions in proper way so that you can impress the examiner to score the best in the examinations maximum times we are applying the unnecessarily uh, meaning of uh, application in case of a question answering what happens actually the stu uh, students applying the unnecessary means of unnecessary methods uh, in examination that actually bore that worried the teacher by which they are unable to score the best in the examination simply follow what you are teacher and what we are uh, sharing what we are providing you in our videos simply follow my videos you will get the simplest tricks the easiest tricks the super tricks to solve the determinant and matrix questions and the easiest and the simplest way to answer what i have already provided in my all the videos of determinant and matrix chapter you dear viewers simply follow the instructions the processes and from my experience i am saying if you are unable to answer in the proper way prop if you are not adapting the proper method then there must be the sort of time then the, there must be sort of uh, space also 
by which you will be unable to attend the 100% questions and there will be sort of marks by which you will lose some marks in annual examination. Look here are questions uh, from your book uh, A plus D, A plus D plus K and A plus D plus C. If you simply subtract row 1 from row 3 then you can answer the question. And also in the last question is one of the easiest question and also the second question and also solve solution means to find the value of x in here is 1 plus x 1 1 is one of the easiest question if you simply apply if you can uh, find some zeros if you are able to create some zeros in rows then this will be helpful to expand this and the next question is 1 plus a 1 1 is one of the easiest question and uh, it is also important to one simply create two zeros if you subtract column 1 minus column 2 and then is column 2 minus column 3 also you can get some zeros and then is the commercial one of the easiest method and then is the application of a gp with uh, determinant as you know the gps in uh, discussed in the uh, secondary that means you have high schools and next is here solution uh, that means you have to find the value of x there is equation here the determinant is equal to zero means it's equation the two important easy questions are and it's very easy to see if you simply add this uh, that means uh, column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3 that means you will get x plus a plus b plus c in a uh, first uh, column so that you can take in common uh, x plus a plus b plus c after that you will get 1 1 1 and then you can easily get two zeros and then expand to find the value of x as well and then the next question is the one of one of the important question the three ones in the last column so simply you can create two zeros next is the without expanding and what i have already discussed you have to solve the questions without expanding for easier method so here are the questions you have to solve you have to find the value of the determinants of that expansion without expansion means you have to apply the properties applying properties you have to find the value of the determinants so next is the uh, so you have to show that in the same thing here in the first question is uh, three ones in the first column that means you can easily create two zeros if you are able that means uh, simply follow row one minus row two row two minus row three there will be two zeros by which you can easily expand it to find the result and then is also next question one of the important also easy question third one is one of the such tricky question that uh, here you can take common a from first row b from second c from third that that means you will get one 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 and that means you can find two zeros and uh, third also c1 minus c2 c2 minus c3 and then is the question of five is grammar's role and the important uh, gg question also question of six is also an if the important question and the question of seven is the important one so here b square is given you have to find the matrix b that means if uh, b square is a second order mass square matrix then b is also a second order square matrix that means uh, uh, here b can you can take as a b c d b into b means a b c d into a b c d then you can solve and find the value of a b c d in order to find the uh, second order square matrix b next is the question 8 uh, you have to show that the transpose sum is equal to the sum of the transposes and uh, next question is a b c are given you have to simply find the algebra that means a plus b minus c then it's transpose then is a transpose minus b transpose easiest question in determinant matrix that i i think uh, then is a question word 10 a is given and are you sorry uh, you have to find a where a square is given one of the also uh, question what i have discussed before uh, b square is given to find b here is a square is given to find a and next is to verify the inverse of a into b is equal to b inverse into a inverse find a into b then it's inverse find b inverse find a inverse then multiply b inverse and a inverse then lss will be equal to rss uh, next is question of 12 to show a square is equal to a inverse simply a square means a into a and then find a inverse the two matrices will be equal hence your answer and next 13 is also easy one find a square then pi pay then 7 i2 minus 1 0 0 1 and simplify as find the value of a square minus pi pay plus 7 i2 this will be zero matrix the right hand side zero means the zero matrix and this will be second order zero matrix null matrix means all elements are zero next is the uh, matrix given as uh, simply uh, to show a square minus 4a plus i is equal to null matrix 